Give me the back. Yeah. They knew that the Lord was their light. They knew that the Lord was their salvation. Yeah. So because of that, they knew they had nothing to fear. So they could sing in a time of trouble, he shall hide me. They could sing praises unto God who promised to preserve their soul from trouble and promised that he would surround them with songs of deliverance. God can change anybody, but, but there, because there are some folk who deserve to be in jail, there are some folks also who have made up their own beds, and it's their own actions that <coughs> cause them to be locked up, chained down, That's and right. arrested, and dealing with a spiritual void. But I want you to know that God is so gracious. Yes, he is. God is so merciful. Yes, he is. That even if those people like that happen to be in the house, when you start to praise God for real, oh, yes. if they happen to be in the house, when you start to worship God oh, yes. in spirit and in truth, yes. your song of deliverance, even those who brought it upon themselves, yes. your song of deliverance, even those who did everything they could to find them in that state, but your song of deliverance yes, will allow somebody else to be saved, allow somebody else to be set free, allow somebody else to have a new life, all because God is just that gracious, God is just that good, God is so gracious that his grace is amazing, but too many times we forget amazing grace that saved the rest like me, I once was lost, I once was in jail, I once was locked up, I once was arrested, I once couldn't keep my hands to myself, I once was still your stuff and hope you look for it. I once was so lost my sin, I once was not found my way, but thanks be to God, thanks be to Jesus, thanks be to the Lord, I've been redeemed, I've been found, it was God's amazing grace. Like it's just a song of deliverance. It ain't just for you. Think about it. If you lived a life like mine, why was it that the night they got locked up, I just happened to not be there? Why? Favor ain't fair. All right now. Why? When everybody ran right and I ran left by myself, everybody got caught but me. I hear you. Why? Why? Because I had already had a song of deliverance that my mama sang to me when I was sitting on her knee. I already had a belief in Jesus. And some of them didn't have it yet. Some of them got in the prison and they changed. Amen? But you have got to plant these songs of deliverance in your children. Yes, yes, sir. You got to plant these songs yes, of deliverance in the people you know. Yes. So then when times get tough, yes. I don't know no scripture. I know how to say my hope is built on me. If I if I if I don't know no scripture, I know how to say what a friend we have in Jesus. All our griefs and sins to bear. If I know what it says in Psalm 32, I know how to say blessed assurance. Yeah. Jesus is my own. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Don't wait till you get to heaven to have some glory. I want some peace right here on earth. I want a long white wall right here on earth. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is mine. I just want a little foretaste. Right now, you got to keep these songs of deliverance oh, yes. so that somebody will hear. Because it's easy to remember when you got a beautiful a song sung in beautiful harmony like the Alpha and Omega choir songs. You ain't going to forget them words when you hear them from an anointed choir like the anointed voices. When you hear them, from a faithful few, like we got at New St. Mark, and you just start stomping your feet. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. your hands. Yes, I like George Quinn. I like that. Tear the roof off the sucker. That's when you got a party song. Amen. Get on the good for a popcorn, James Brown. That's how you got the party kicked in. Right? Now 
Now we just partying in a different way. Blessed assurance, blessed quietness. Oh, that's my song. Oh, and the bell. And the 